Welcome to the launch of the Reachology Report because measuring influential reach should be a science, not an art. You are watching Influence Media, PSI TV, the Netflix of biz brands. We're all influential to some degree, some of us more than others. The Reachology Report is a brand new launch kicking off January 2024. We'll be producing a Reachology Report every month going forward. It's going to cover on personal brands that are scaling in influential reach. We're going to dissect these personal brands that are scaling for their growth stacks, their growth hacks, their growth tracks, with a view to how can we adopt and implement some of these strategies while maintaining our brand identity. So if you believe that your brand, your, your personal brand is growing, you don't need to already be some top celebrity, but you have the social proof to show that you have grown by some degree, that you have the social proof now, not your say so, you have the social proof to show you started here and now you're there. You might be a guest for our TV show portion as well as a recharge report. So this is going to be by invitation only, but if you think that you know a guest or know someone we should be talking to, definitely DM me and we'll do the research and see if they are a fit. So today we're going to go over what is Reachology, what the Reachology report is and what it's going to cover, how subscribers can contribute to the Reachology report, and strategies to increase your own discovery of your offer within the online digital space. This is a weekly show that we do every week on Monday, 10.30 a.m. Eastern. PSI TV puts out a weekly show and the Reachology Report will be one of those shows each month. Reachology is a word we have trademarked with the U.S. government. It's for influencer marketing services. Now, in a nutshell, when we interview a guest on PSI TV, the guest was coming to say they had a TV experience. Yes, but more than that, we realized that our guests were looking for an exposure to a brand new audience and to grow their credibility with this new audience. So we realized very quickly, we were not just in the TV media business, we really were in the influential reach business. So in my doctorate program, I started out in psychology and I changed tracks to a strategic leadership with my research being focused on influential reach. So Reachology became my word that I'm using to describe the measurement, the science and study of influential reach. The Reachology report is going to be where we capture this information about growing personal brands and dissecting them. According to the American Marketing Association, there is a difference between a brand, like a corporate brand and a personal brand. But in a nutshell, branding is a unique identity, set of values and perceptions that differentiates one entity from another. Guys, Walmart and Target may sell a lot of the same things, but they are very distinct brands. I mean, people will even say Target to just give that reference to it's a little bit more elevated in perception when you go to Target versus going to Walmart. So it's a it's a way of creating a unique identity. That's what branding is. Now, personal branding is different from corporate branding. So for example, Richard Branson is the face of the Virgin Brands. I am the face of the PSI TV family of brands. Kim Kardashian is the face of the Skims and the KKW Fragrance and KKW Beauty brands. Rihanna is the face of the Fenty Beauty brands. So even though you may have an organizational brand identity, a corporate brand, the Rechology Report is going to be interested in the brands that have a human face. So a personal brand that may be moving the corporate brand. Personal branding is the act of promoting yourself as a brand where your persona, is you, you build an online identity, reputation, and presence. You showcase your skills, your expertise, and your personality. So this is going to be the distinction for what is covered in the Rechallenger Report. 
So we, again, we're interested in personal brands or organizational brands where the founder is building the brand via their persona. If you think you qualify, please reach out to us because we will do 12 features each year. We will be looking for those brands that have growth so that we can dissect for all those growth hacks and showcase your brand to our audience. Now, one of the upcoming conversations that we're going to be having on our PSI TV live show is the difference between a social media influencer versus an entrepreneurial influencer. It does speak into this whole concept of the personal brand. You want to look out for that. I'm excited to do that show in the upcoming um, near future. So look out for that. Don't want to miss it. If you have not yet, um, if you have not yet subscribed, now would be a good time. Hit the notification bell so you will know when that show is coming up. So the recharge report, like I said, is going to be actually not only a show that will be covered here on our ma many platforms and on TV, but there will be a downloadable report so that you know, if, especially if you're featured, you want to share that with your on the, with your own audience, or if it's something that we share that you want to look back on later, who wants to listen through a whole video again? You know, it's just going to be that quick cheat sheet. So here's what it's going to be like. So in the January issue, <clears throat> and it's going to be interactive, right? So it's not, you can print it out and it won't be interactive, but if you keep it online as a digital thing, you'll notice that this is a clickable video. We did a video earlier of the five influence hacks from Kim, Kim Kardashian's rise in fame. That's the kind of thing that Reach All the Report is going to do. So you can click and watch that video. And we're, you know, we'll also have a little bit of PSI TV growth information right there. So during 2023, the PSI TV YouTube uh, channel grew by 2,100 subscribers. We had over 116,000 views. And, you know, a lot of those were when we interviewed our guests, we made sure that we promoted their show until they got a certain minimum number of views based on the package that they ordered with us okay so there is in this particular issue of the Reachology report we do talk about that social media influencer versus the entrepreneur entrepreneurial influencer and that's going to be an upcoming show if you want access to the Reachology report what you need to do is to comment in this video somewhere unless you're watching this on tv then you can't but you can reach out to me and comment on one of our social media platforms under this particular issue. And then we will get that to you. So we're being very transparent here, guys. We're trying to grow our brand in the process. And part of that is your engagement with the brand does help to grow the brand. So we're being very transparent. You want access to the Reach Child Report. It's free. Just comment under one of our social media posts that has the Reach Alger report, and then we will get it to you, okay? Now, why do you want to grow your personal brand? This is so important. We really believe that you need to grow your personal brand. Now, ultimately, at some point, PSI TV will be well-known for itself. Maybe I'm dead and gone, and <laughs> no more to be seen, but the PSI TV um, brand will be well known and you know and, and have continuity with or without me and that's great and that's ultimately where things will go but a lot of brands need founder startup just like Bill Gates building his brand in his garage so was Jeff Bezos on you know until the brand gets some notoriety on its own strength a lot of brands are built on the relationships that their founders have you, no question, guys, the Fenty Beauty brand and the KKW brand is growing in leaps and bounds because the founders are well known and liked and trusted. So this is it's very important that you build your personal brand. And that's one of the things that we're pushing through the PSI TV brand and our reach out report. We're really trying. To, and that's one of the value stacks we believe we bring to the table when we interview our guests. Yes, they get the TV experience, but we are deliberately trying to contribute to their digital online presence, their search engine optimization, their growth, their personal brand growth. 
So in the real estate niche for, niche, for example, according to NAR, which is the National Association of Realtors, there are over 1.5 million realtors in the United States as of January 2023. Now, if you're a realtor and you need to stand out, let's just add to that that Florida, if you're a Florida realtor, there are of, of that 1.5 million, two, Florida is the number one state. And there's over 200,000 realtors in Florida. And that's not including real estate agents. The realtor is a brand. And so there are some real estate agents that fall under that brand. But there are some real estate agents that did not sign up to be a part of the realtor brand. So there is an additional estimated 168,000 realtors, uh, sorry, real estate agents. So if you're in the real estate space, how are you going to create that unique identity? You're just one of many, unless you find a way to stand out. One of my friends, it calls himself the beach house guy. He sells a lot of waterfront property and it may not necessarily even be beach house, but he, he's gotten his brand that way. He's the beach house guy. And if you want a beachfront property in Florida, you're probably going to call him because that's he, how he has just created his own unique brand. Again, if you're a coach, according to the coachfoundation.com, there is one point, almost 1.8 million coaches life coaches in the United States. This is not football coaches. This is life coaching statistics. So if you are a coach, you're one of 1.8 million coaches. And this is, I don't remember when I got this, but this was earlier in the year. So, you know, how are you going to stand out? You're just one of many life coaches. You've got to build your personal brand. If you are an author right now on Amazon, there are over 50 million book titles. If somebody wants to read a book, they have many, many options. For your brand to stand out, you have got to make a case for your brand. The biggest category of TV guests we have right now are authors who are trying to get their books shared. I found it interesting that many of the authors that appear on PSI TV also have businesses, but they're there for their book. I don't, I don't understand. They're not there to promote their business. They're there to promote their book. But I do try to incorporate a little bit of both with while still trying to keep the focus of what they want. But guys, if you are an author and you want to stand out, you're competing for somebody's attention with 50 million other book titles. You have got to do something to create that brand separation. Otherwise, you're just one of many. The idea is to stand out from the pack. That's what we're going to be looking for with the people that we feature in the Recharge Report. This is what we talk about all day long on the PSI TV uh, channel content. Now, according to Matthew 5, verses 14 through 16, it says, You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. So let your light shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father, which is in heaven. Now, this is not a theological dissertation of this verse, but the point I'm getting at, guys, is that you're not meant to be hidden. And if you have something of value, it needs to give light. Light is, is to show the way. It's to create an illumination around something. It says, let your light shine. Don't hide. Don't hide so that they may see your good works. I hope you're doing some good works because if you're not, yeah, that's probably a good reason to hide. But if what you're doing is putting value into the world, you should not be hiding. So your next step, should you choose to do so, is to probably be a guest on PSI TV and there will be a way for you to connect with us and apply to be a guest there. You can also consider being featured in the Rechology Report. Get your baseline Rechology score, see where you're currently at, and then you'll also see the gaps of where you can improve your own influential reach. Again, if you want a copy of the Rechology Report, it's free, just comment, and we'll reach out to you and get that to you. We know you have stuff of value, and if you do it right, guys, you will get guest spots on stages, podcasts, and more. Yours will be the first name that comes to mind for the thing that you do, the obvious choice 
from the pack of others who do something similar to you. You'll be recognized by people who you don't even know and eventually be considered a celebrity in your space and get paid as one too. We want to give you the brand elevation advantage. You have got to step up your influential reach. Trudy Behrman here, super simple to find and I do look forward to